Marina Sabalenka versus Alina Rabakina is the final match of the group stage for the Purple Group, the WTA Finals 2024. And both players have had different roads to get to the finals. Alina Rabakina enters the tournament as the number five in the world and has only ever played this tournament once. That was last year where she couldn't get out of the round robin stage, but she did lose a deciding match to Sabalenka. And had she had won that match, she would have gone into the semi. So a little bit unlucky last time. Her record this year is 41 wins, nine losses. And that's pretty impressive considering she hasn't played that much. And that also includes three titles on the season as well. Her best win was against Iga Fiontek earlier in the year on the clay courts of Stuttgart. However, her worst loss was actually at the very start of the year in Australia, where she lost a blink of her in a shock result early in that tournament. Her form lately hasn't been good. We haven't seen much of her since playing at Wimbledon due to a lot of off-court stuff and injuries as well. She's kind of coming in here untested because we haven't seen her play that many matches. Arena Sabalenka comes into this tournament as the number one in the world after winning the US Open and taking that spot back off Iga Fiontech going into this finals. Best result of the finals so far has been a final back in 2022, where she ended up losing to Garcia in the end. She also made a semi-final last year where she lost to Fiontech, so been a little bit unlucky the last couple of tournaments, but she's had a great season, 54 wins and 12 losses on the year, which includes four titles and two of those titles being Grand Slams, of course the Australian Open and the US Open, adding to her tally of Grand Slams. Her best win was against Iga Fiontech back in Cincinnati, where she kind of demolished her in that match. Her worst loss, however, was actually against Anissa Moba in Toronto just before she went on that run in Cincinnati. So she had her best win and her worst loss within the same couple of weeks. Her form has been great. She's coming in here with a winning streak after winning in Wuhan for a third consecutive time. These were played nine times before with Sabalenka leading 6-3 in the head-to-head, -head, including two matches this year where Sabalenka got the win on the clay but lost the match in Brisbane at the start of the year where Rabakina shocked her by bageling her. They also played here last year in the WTA Finals, which was a deciding match to see who made the semis. Sabalenka won that one that day. Unfortunately, this match, we already know Sabalenka's in the semis and Rabakina can't make the semis, so it's a little bit of a dead rubber. If Rabakina's going to win this one, she needs to be aggressive and limit those errors. She's been hitting a lot of errors this week in her return to tennis. She hasn't played that much tennis, of course. There is going to be some rust there and kind of coming back against the best eight players in the world to get your form back is probably not the best idea, but she had no choice. So she's going to have to limit those errors if she's going to get away with a win to end the season. If Sabalenka's going to win this one, she needs to limit her errors as well because in the second set, she almost lost that set against Paolini because she was just overhitting. And that was mainly because Paolini's defense, but she's got to make sure she limits those errors and has a clean match if she's going to go 3-0 in the group. Really fun matchup. It's a bit disappointing that this one kind of means nothing, only for the head-to-head -head record, but I have to go with Sabalenka in three sets in this one. I think Rabakina might be able to sneak a set, maybe in one of the tie breaks, but I think Sabalenka gets it done in the end and goes 3-0 in the group and tops the group in the semi-finals, but let me know in the comments below who's winning this one.